Devin, talk about the, uh, the relationship with you and Dane. It just really seemed to click. Like, what's what's happened over the last two weeks where you and Dane are just firing all cylinders? Yeah, I mean, it goes back to, you know, when I first got here in the spring. You know, we put in a lot of work of, you know, making sure we get those extra reps after practice, making sure we're watching film together. And, you know, today it was good to see, you know, we were able to connect a little bit. And, you know, a guy like Dane and really all of our receivers, you just get the ball in their hands and, you know, those guys go and make plays. What was the difference in the past game than I think? I mean, it looked better than it looked all year. Yeah, I think it's just, you know, for one, for me, making sure that I'm reading my correct reads, going through my right, you know, pre-snap process, post-snap process, um, and then overall just executing. I mean, it's tough that we came off, of, you know, that we're coming off of a loss like this because of how much work we put in, you know, coming off the bye and everything and, you know, getting extra preparation on Tennessee. You know, we felt really good going into this one, but, you know, for us in the past game, it was only a matter of time for us. You know, we were just a couple plays away, a couple clicks away of, from an execution standpoint of doing kind of a little bit of what we did today, but there's always room for improvement. So, Devin, how frustrating is it to play as well as you play, you play as well as the receivers play, and not get the ultimate gratification of winning the game? Yeah, I mean, it's frustrating. I mean, regardless of who plays well, the overall goal is to win the game. Um, I've always looked at football that way. Whatever coach needs me to do, whatever the team needs me to do for us to win, you know, I'm willing to do it. Um, you know, walking away with a loss today just, you know, it, it puts a sour taste in your mouth a little bit, but, you know, now it's back to the drawing board. You can't, you know, praise yourself too much for coming off of something that you did still end up with a loss. You know, there, there's still room for improvement. You know, we got to get back to work starting tomorrow, watching the film and, you know, just build off of this. Were you, when you were on the sideline there on that last drive, just what was going through your mind? How confident were you that if you guys got the ball back that you were going to be able to march down the field? And yeah, extremely confident. Um, you know, just being around the guys, everyone was very calm. Everyone was, you know, keeping each other up, making sure that everyone understood their assignment. You know, Coach Woody and Coach Verb did a great job on the sideline, kind of bringing us together for what we should expect when we go in this no huddle series. And you know, everyone was confident. Everyone was ready. You know, as soon as the ball was in our hands, as soon as we needed to make a play, guys were willing to do it, and guys were ready to do it. So that was really good to see. And you know. We'll be in this situation again where we'll be able to capitalize. When you guys are down 10 nothing, I think everybody in the place thought, oh my gosh, it's going to be another Tennessee-Kentucky game. But you all didn't seem to panic, which maybe, I'm not saying you did against Georgia, but maybe there was a little panic in weeks gone by. Did you guys kind of mature a little bit, you think, during that off week? I think we definitely matured. Um, I think it definitely, during that off week, took it upon the players to kind of step up you know we we understand that you know losing isn't acceptable but at the same time you know we're the ones on the field we're the ones that need to execute um, so you know with this bye week and you know this whole week leading up to Tennessee you know it hurts walking away from this game with the loss but you know within the building players really stuck you know stood up and took a leadership role so that was really cool to see, but you know, at the end of the day, you know, guys are beating themselves up on this loss. You know, we know this is huge for Kentucky. We wanted to win this one really, really bad. Um, so it kind of sucks at the end of the day. What did what did you see on the wheel or out on the fourth down when you throw to to Demi? Yeah, it was uh, it was a, it was man coverage. Uh, they brought a blitz up the middle, um, and honestly, that was our man alert. Uh, you know, every concept has you know certain coverage alerts or depending on what. You know they're giving us from a zone, you know, read perspective. Uh, that was one of our main alerts, and you know I knew it was fourth down. Had to give him a chance, and you know Demi's really hard on himself. You know he knows he can make a play like that. I know I could throw a better ball, um, but you know come to practice on Monday, we'll probably get that throw like 15 times after practice, so that we won't make that mistake again. Devin, what was Boone's message to you after the game? Yeah, he just, you know, he told us he was really proud of us. Um, just like we are as players, he's tough on himself as a coach. Um, you know, he just told us that, you know, we did some really good things um, offensively as a whole. Uh, really pointed out the offensive line. I thought they did a great job, you know, protecting a really dynamic front. Um, and, you know, just like players, there's plays you wish you could get back. Coach Cohen said there's some calls he wish he could have had back. But, you know, just like he always has our back, we had his back by saying, you know, coach, we could do better and we will be better from this.
Kevin, at the beginning of the year, we were talking about wristbands and miscommunication and stuff. You just seem so much more comfortable out there right now. How much progression have you made? Yeah, I mean, I think it just comes with repetition. Um, you know, coming into a new system, a new offense, uh, you got to get a lot of reps to be able to master it. And, uh, you know, I just try to, as much as I can, put in the extra film, put in the extra time, meet with Coach Cohen and the staff, and, you know, making sure that, you know, me being a new guy really isn't an excuse at this point. The game's a lot easier when guys catch the ball also, right? Yeah, when I when I throw it good, too. Um, you know, it's a, it's a collective thing as an offense. Um, so, you know, there were, there were some good things today. There was a couple things that, you know, we wish we could have had back. But, you know, we'll, we'll be better from this. All right, guys. Very good.